I've been counseling a few younger couples where I've mostly been talking to the male counterpart and I know there's two sides to every story but just looking at the parallels of the situations and the brief conversations I have had with the females I've recognized that a lot of these young couples are just not getting it there is so much social media hype in relationships that are dictating the fantasy creating the fallacy of what it should be versus the reality of we got to put in some work to be us and everybody wants to have this dream relationship of i can do whatever i want however i want and yeah you got to pay the bills and yeah you got to take care of our child since you're going to stay by me oh and if not then guess what i'm gonna leave you put you on child support or if you're not you know if we don't have a kid together i'm gonna leave you or whatever and i'm just looking at so many of these ladies talk about loyalty one of them got loyalty tatted on them and i'm just like what does that mean? Especially in in in, in with our with, with, with this different situations, and not to say that it means anything, but if you stand with the guy, it sounds like he more loyal to you than you are to him. Because even though you threaten to leave him, he not you know telling you to put saying he gonna put you out or anything like that, and. I recognize some of these volatile situations just get too extreme when arguing the tempers are just flaring so much that it's just I don't care it's just like the name calling the shooting below the belt the 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 hitting the guy thinking that it's okay for a, a female to hit a guy and of course they gonna take it we gonna take it but it still doesn't make it right it's still lack of self-control it's still lack of anger management and I just wonder like if the guy hits you back then file and especially you start trying to call law enforcement in on folks and let's not even talk about God because he's definitely not in it with all these temples flying and nobody can listen nobody can just listen we can't calm my nerve for a second and it's just so amazing to me what people's loyalty are what what they are down for or what they will go all out for because if it's drama it's like okay it's a go let's let's do the drama whether going off on somebody or wanting to beat somebody up because they done did something to the female or one the female won her guy to go jump on somebody but like on the flip side can you help pay bills now that you got a job can you help me out like what what is the us in this relationship is it all me and conditionally you yeah I mean I understand a woman is a garden. I understand that. But if a guy is sowing the seed there, is the ground fertile? That's my question. Is the ground fertile enough to take root of the seed? Or is the love so, is the vessel so broken that when the love gets poured in, it gets poured right out? Because you don't even know what love is. I. It is very, 
difficult to be single dating with people whose value system is not equally yoked or whose value system is nowhere near godly based everything is about the music that I listen to and a lot of these artists are not gurus on relationships <sighs> they have several different mothers of their children several different situations no matter how much money they have with police authority all these different things and we're going to base our relationship standards on what these guys say I think that's a very bad decision. Furthermore, I realize when you keep listening to music, because when I was young, I, I grew up listening to NWA, uh, Public Enemy, uh, Ron DMC, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Outkast. Cameron, Common, East Coast, West Coast. I listen to everything. There's two liar crew. <laughs> um, Pimp Gangster Trick. <laughs> I mean, I listen to all this, all these artists with some of the worst advice on relationships. And even in their lives, a lot of the relationships were not working out. And the ones who did, they pretty much left the public scene a lot. Like Eric, Eric I mean, I don't know. I, let me talk about what I know about. So, anyway, I'm saying all that to say, I recognize that when I was listening to that, a lot of that fruit of those relationships was coming out in my mindset because I had programmed my mind to use certain terminology when upset or use certain uh, responses so, what is your true religion? Is it the music you're listening to that dictates your life? Whether I'm so... Uh, I mean, let's look at the theme of a lot of rap music. Money, sex, violence, and drugs. I mean, somewhere in there, most music is about that. And you get, you get some here and there's with relationships. So... When we look at the fruit of our lives, it's based on what is going in these ear and eye gates. And you will know by what's coming out your mouth gate. If you keep attending to things that are just not working, what do you expect your life to be? What are you studying? And it's not like a, a course that you're studying this, but when you stand up there listening to the same songs and the same genre of music on a regular basis, reciting them, so you're speaking it, you're hearing it, you're speaking it, you're thinking it. You hear the beat, your mind just rattled off the whole song. So, has the music got you trapped? Is the music making you sick? What fruit is coming from your root? And what is the root of your life feeding from? Now, I'm not trying to say I'm holy than now, because I'm surely not. However, I do recognize that if you're going to be in a relationship, it has to be a relay. We have to be in this together. We have to be going somewhere together. If there is no vessel carrying in us beyond the conditions we have no relationship what do I mean by beyond the conditions if you do me I do you no that can't be that. that that just don't work it has to be based on we are in this together we work 
he came up short, I forgive you. You got grace and mercy. Please don't do it again. I apologize. I'm try I'm going to do my best to stop this action. An apology means nothing if you're not going to change your behavior. It means nothing. Now, I may Let's 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 look at people's learning curve now. If a person if a person is at the very least catching themselves, because nobody changes overnight. But we can make some intentional efforts to try to change, to try to make better efforts toward it. Now some people say a try is an honest lie, but when you renewing that mind, it's a process. And certain triggers cause a certain traumatic response so if a person is decreasing the amount of behavior that is not desired they're improved there's improvement and if you can't respect the improvement and at least try and give improvement what are you sowing in your relationship nothing so when the fall causes a winter, I'm talking about seasons in the relationship, don't be mad when spring don't spring up. You need to think about what you really want in your relationships, for real. For real, for real. Because it's a lot of lonely people out here complaining and hurt people out here. And in relationship because they have an itch that they want to be scratched, but they don't want to stand beside people even if they let them stand inside of them think about just being out here if you got somebody who's 80 percent that's a keeper in my book you can you can build a rest but so many people so focused on the 20 percent trying to have everything and the, the sad reality is this insto presto world with, with internet, instant access, cell phone, process is, is, is very limited. People are very impatient. And the impatience does not allow growth. It doesn't allow, allow time for things to change, the harvest to make place. Now, if somebody doing the same thing months on years, then obviously they don't want to change that. But if you're seeing progress that to me in my book I know we not God I know we don't have Jesus patience but really think about it's some real dog people out here it's some for real dog people out here and you can enjoy the fruits of somebody being good to you without conditions or and, 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 and accept their shortcomings or you can keep going through what you're going through and finding the next and keeping an X on the list and going through and going through and as you going through and going through at some point your mind gonna come home to roost and say you know what I am Frustrated, tired, upset. No, I'm upset at the last five, whatever, five, ten, whatever, however many folks I've been through. Because when you turn this switch on, that that it needs to be scratched some type of way. And if you don't have healthy practices to curve those cravings, you're just gonna be going through people or going through that make or break up cycle. And, and and creating some traumas in the relationship. Anyway, young folks, older folks, because it ain't just the folks in the 20s. It's the folks in the 30s, the 40s, and even the 50s. Learn that at the end of the day, if you walk in love, you're going to get what you want to get out of the situation. But as long as you keep frustrating and arguing and over nothing, and being disloyal when you when you claim loyalty, you get the worst of it. Y'all have a good day.